So we've talked about the gravimetric way to get soil moisture content by weighing it dry, weighing it wet, weighing it dry, volumetric way, taking a known volume. How could we get the, these are both destructive methods. We want to have a method where we can measure repeatedly in the same location without disturbing the soil. So we need some sort of probe that's going to give us that information. So one of the things about water, it's, it's, it's a polar molecule. So it has a high, it's, it, with two hydrogens and oxygen, it's highly polar and it's very small. And it has charge associated with this. So what it has is a high dielectric. So we know that water is charged and small and can reorient. So when you apply an electric field, it really responds to that electric field. So the dielectric of water is of the order of 72. Whereas a dielectric, for instance, of, of a dry soil is on the order of 2 to 4. So we see this dielectric which we typically denote by a KD, the dielectric is vastly different between water and soil. So what we're looking for then is how we would measure this. And what the dielectric tells us is if we, we took two plates and separated them in space, and we filled the material between those two plates with the material, then the amount of charge that can be stored on those plates for a given amount of voltage is dictated by the dielectric of that material between the plates. So we're basically trying to charge up a capacitor and see how much current we have to put in to get a certain level of voltage. And that's, a, a, that's how dielectric is defined. So one thing we can do is put two plates essentially into soil and we'll make two long skinny plates that we can insert into the soil and so we'll push these plates into the soil and then we'll measure the amount of capacitance of this system. The, that's, a, that's a dielectric probe, it's very uh, commonly used. The problem is that there's a lot of other junk in soil. Which might be organic matter, etc. And this junk has a dielectric that can go anywhere from 0 to 10 depending on the frequency. that we measure the dielectric. So if I come out here with a battery and measure the, the, the current required and hold it at a constant voltage, then we'll have a very low frequency, essentially zero, and it'll reflect a high dielectric in this junk. As well, the soil will represent its higher dielectric, whereas if we came in very quickly measured it, then this becomes less important. So what we want to do is have a method which takes this, method, this measurement very rapidly. And what would be a very rapid way to measure this? And that would be to, it, it, by putting a signal, electro, electronic signal down this conductor that actually moves as a pulse, gets to the end and bounces back. What I can do is measure the time of travel of my electric pulse. Now that time of travel is going to be on the order of nanoseconds. So it's a very, very high frequency measurement. And it turns out that the time of travel is proportional to the square root of the dielectric. So we insert a pulse we see it go down, we see it come back, comes back to our instrument, we report that amount of time. And the longer it takes, the higher the dielectric. Because the water basically has to reorient and that slows the movement of the, of the electric signal down. 
And this is what's called time domain reflectometry. or just TDR. So TDR is a very popular way to measure moisture content because it's much less sensitive to the organics and the soil type and so it pretty much reveals just the, uh, the fraction of, of water that's there. So you can calibrate this measurement of time of flight to the water content and get a relationship so you can stick your probe in and almost not worry about which soil you're using and get the water content of that local soil. You can then leave that probe in, come back a day later, hook your instrument back up, get another measurement of moisture content. So it's a non-destructive approach to get water content of soils based on the high dielectric of water and with one little proviso that it should be done at high frequency to get rid of the influence of other constituents of the soil.